What is going on everybody, ladies and gentlemen, simply pop, 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 pops back at it again with another Apple update video and Apple has done it. They refreshed the iPad models before their Apple events. We have the iPad Air and we have the iPad Mini 5. But let's start off small with the iPad Mini 5. Now the iPad Mini 5, not that much change in terms of the aesthetics. It's the same exact design, but this time Apple has added in the Apple A12 chip. What does that mean? It's the same chipset, the same performance as the iPhone XS, XS Max, and iPhone XR. Even it has the same chipset as the iPad Pro, but the only kicker is the iPad Pro has the A12X chip. So the X stands for graphical performance. If you're playing like a lot of games or if you're going to do like a lot of video intensive stuff, the iPad Pro is going to perform slightly better. But the A12 chip, performance wise in terms of CPU is going to be no slouch at all. Now the iPad mini also has a true tone display and the true tone display basically means like if you look at a sheet of paper it adapts to lighting. If you hold it over to the sun you know it's like a yellow. Easy on your eyes it's going to be as natural as possible. It's like looking at a sheet of paper. It's a huge difference compared to the Apple A8 chip. Um, So yeah that's a day and night difference right there. So if you're looking forward for an iPad mini now is the time to buy it. You can pick it up today and the only aesthetic difference is the microphone hole is positioned differently it's towards the center this time and i don't know if it's me but the space gray looks a little different and not only that we have apple pencil support i'm surprised apple done this you know now if you think about it well every single ipad has apple pencil support now so any ipad you pick up in 2019 you can pick up an apple pencil with it which is just crazy back in the days 2016 if i wanted to buy an ipad you have to go with the ipad pro in order to get the apple pencil support but nowadays you can get any ipad and it'll be supported with apple pencil now in terms of pricing and storage configurations you can pick up the ipad mini 5 on um, either 64 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes um the starting price is going to be 399 so 400 dollars if you want the big boy the 256 it's going to cost you a whopping $550. So $550 plus if you buy the Apple Pencil, that's $600 just for the iPad mini. Now let's move on to the iPad Air. Now the iPad Air also brings the Apple A12 chip, which is the same chipset as the iPad mini. So Apple did not skip out or cheap out on the processor. They didn't put in the A11 chip. They put in the A12 chip. So these iPads are going to last for a very, very long time. And I mean, look at the iPhone 5S. I mean, they still support this thing with updates. So this thing, these iPads are going to be supported for a very long time. The iPad Air also brings support for the Apple Pencil and the smart keyboard. Now the smart Smart keyboard is not compatible with the iPad mini. Um, you have to go with the iPad Air or even the Pro if you want to use your smart keyboard. But you can pick up any old Bluetooth keyboard case um, if you're in on the tight budget. Now the screen size actually increased from 9.7 to actually 10.5 inch. So yeah, so more screen to work with and smaller bezels. The iPad Air also has a true tone display too, like I mentioned earlier. The cameras, it has an 8 megapixel on the rear and 7 megapixel on the front facing camera. Yeah, that's basically it. So we have Apple Pencil support, smart keyboard support, the A12 chip, true tone, um, the 10.5 inch display. Basically on paper, the iPad Air is kind of like... It's pretty much a copy and paste as the last generation iPad Pro, but obviously just a different chipset. So yeah, it's, it's kind of like a refresh to the iPad Pro last generation, but this time they renamed it to the iPad Air because they have the Pro model already. Now in terms of the storage and configurations for the iPad Air, it's gonna start out with 64 gigabytes for $500. And then if you want the 256 gigabytes, <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied, it's gonna be $650. So. Yeah, uh, and then really add on the Apple Pencil, then the case, this thing can add up really quickly. Of course, you have the basic Apple colors, so you have silver, space gray, and you have gold. I, I kind of do miss the rose gold option. Apple, bring back the rose gold. And I don't know about you guys, I think the space gray option looks different. It looks slightly darker. That's just something I noticed. Now, Apple has kept the $329 iPad the same, so it still has the A10 chip, which is the same chipset as the iPhone 7, and everything is exactly the same. And I gotta say, it's a good value. Um, $329 is a steal for an iPad. And guys, those are the new iPads that came out this morning. By the way, if I haven't mentioned already, the iPad Air and the Mini 5 both have a laminated display, which is good job, Apple. Good job. In a good way. It's, it's good, though. Laminated display is a, it's a great thing. And basically, what I mean by laminated, the screen is actually, like, right next to the glass 
Um, it's, it's more expensive to develop or to engineer, but it's really worth it though. You appreciate the pixels that just is up. There's no gap to it. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys drop a like. Pretty obvious. If you guys love the video, make sure you guys subscribe. Shout out to Dave2D. All right, guys, until next time, follow me on Twitter at Simply Pops, and I'm out. Peace.